Okay, our objective today, today's date is 2-15-22. Our objective is talking about rational exponents. So, again, it's not that important to me that you know the fancy words, but I'm going to use them. So, the word rational, rational means fraction. Okay? So, the word rational just means fraction. So, we're going to have fractional exponents, okay? So, a rational exponent would be something like this. Some number, any number, any number, to some exponent, p over q, okay? Rational exponent is just a fraction exponent. Okay, a rational, a rational exponent is just a fractional exponent, okay? An example of that could be 32 to the 3 fifths power. That's an example of a number that has a fractional exponent. Well, what we want to do is know that this p to the, this end of the pq can be rewritten as the q root of n to the p power. So I'm going to go so let's take a look at this. I'm just going to do this. You've got to pay attention. It's really easy. I'm just going to do this. Check it out. This number, whatever this number is, becomes the root. Okay, see that? It's a fraction. The bottom part of the fraction becomes the root. So this number, whatever it is, becomes the root. And this number here becomes the power. So we take 32. We take 32 and make this number, the 5, the root. I'm going to make the 3, the power. Okay, so let me rewrite this. Okay, so just put the numbers where they go. All I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite this one then as the fifth root of 32 to the third power. Okay, so then let's see. I'm going to go back to my journal. And I think I, I have my fifth root of 32. And if you don't know what it is, you probably shall. What's the fifth root of 32? You guys probably know that one already. Two. It is 2. Good, Scott. Now, Scott remembers, and if you don't remember, we just wrote them all down, right? All right we just wrote them all down. So, just listed a whole bunch of them, right? Oh, wait, we just, we just wrote them down. We just wrote them down. Where is it? We just wrote them all down. Yeah, there it is. There's my 32, fifth root of 32. Two, right? So, I'm going to rewrite this. As two, but then I have to the third power. Okay. Let me make one more really big important thing, and this is gonna you guys are gonna say, of course not, right? Don't do thirty-two to the third power. You could, you could. Don't do this. Humongous number, right? And then I'm gonna say, okay, what's the fifth root of that? Make it small first, right? Make it small, and then make the whole problem easy, okay? Yes, you could go 32 for the power. Boom, big number, right? And then fit through that. Nah, make it small first, okay? And then what is 2 to the third power? It's 2 times 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2 times 2? Eight. It is 8. So the answer is 8. All right? Okay. Now, example 1 is actually really easy because all they want us to do is change it. They don't want they no answer. We want no answer, we just want to change it. That's all. We just want to change it. So what does it mean by change it? We're going to change it to exponential form. I'm going to rewrite this as 7 to the 2 thirds power. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do is just change it. 7 is my base to the 2 thirds power. That's all I did. What is 7 to the 2 thirds power? It's an ugly number. It really is. It's an ugly, ugly number. So we're going to leave it the way it is. 7 to the 2 thirds power. Ugly number. It's irrational. So let's just leave it as 7 to the 2 thirds. Okay? 
Now five, there are two invisible numbers, okay? Square root of five, there's, two, there's an invisible number here because it's a square root, and it's a five to the one power, right? Invisible number, we know there's a square, it's called a square root, five to the one, so we're gonna rewrite this as five to the one half power, that's all. Okay, number, example two, we, same thing, no answer. We do not want an answer. We just want to rewrite it. No answer. We just want to change it. I'm going to rewrite it into radical form. All right, so I'm going to go and do this to start off. So a radical. That's my radical. Square root, cube root, that's a radical. I'm going to put the 2 here, 6 to the 1 power. That's all I need. Okay, so the 2 is the root, and the 1 is the power. Okay, well, the same thing with negative 2. I'm going to start right here. Okay. And 4 goes here, because that's my root. And my 3 goes here. Oh, I crossed it off. Why did I cross that off? I crossed that problem out. Negative. You, can you take the fourth root of a negative number? Because negative times a negative is a positive. Times negative times a negative is a positive. Can you take the fourth root of a negative number? No, that's right. You can, Scott. Way to go. So you can do this. Nice job. I can do the cube root of, say, negative 8, couldn't I? That I can do. Negative 2. Thanks, Scott. Way to be on the ball. So you can take an odd, Scott said it perfect, you can take an odd root of a negative number, but not an even root of a negative number, okay? Okay, you ready to turn the page? All right, now, evaluate. Well, I can do this. 27. Is there a cube root of 27? Look at your notes. What is it? Yes, Grace, awesome. The cube root of 27 is 3. And then 3 squared. So the cube root of 27 is 3 because 3 times 3. I still have a 3 squared, which makes a 9. Okay. 32. Let's see. That's the same thing as a fifth root of 32 squared, isn't it? I just rewrote it. And then, is there a fifth root of 32? Yes. And what is the fifth root of 32? 2, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. I'll show it again. Here we go, right? 2, two times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. How many 2's did I say? 5. Yeah. So 2 and then 2 squared. We're not done. Right? 2 squared is, what do we get for an answer? 2 squared is 4. Awesome. Now, oh, bummer. There is no, well, yeah, there is. There's a 4 through to 64, isn't there? So I'm going to rewrite this. Cube root of 64 cube root of x to the sixth, cube root of y to the negative 12. So I'm going to look at this problem really as three parts. Three parts. Now let's just tackle one, then the other, and then the other. Okay, let's just look at this three parts, okay? Let's start right here. Is there a cube root of 64? Okay. What is it? Four. Four. Everybody agree? Four times four is 16 times four. So that's is six person cross it out and make up four, okay? Get somewhere go straight to the cube root of sixty-four is four. Awesome. Now, do you remember how we took half the exponent? Half, but we're not gonna take half of the exponent. What are you gonna take? A third. A third, totally right. So we're gonna take one third of my exponent. And so we're gonna get an x to the two. And then we'll take a third third of the exponent, right, and we get a y to the negative 4. 
And I'm going to do one last thing. What am I going to do? One last thing. I don't like the negative exponent, right? So when I see a negative exponent, we think fraction bar, right? You see a negative exponent, you think fraction bar. I'll bring the y to the fourth down. The 4 stays on top, and the x squared stays on top, and there is my answer. Okay? How is that? All right. Here's what we're going to do for homework today. We're going to take a math break. We're going to take a little, we'll go outside for a second. Page 25, we're going to go 1 to 25 odd. Odd, okay, and I'm going to stop my recording. And let's get outside and take a little bit of a